Good day. I just noticed your name, by the way, Mr. Bone. Great name. Good day. A little bit on the slower side, but it's fine. I think it's fine. One Evil second too beware. slow on that clicking. I had a moment of weakness in my hand. I completely missed that guy. <laughs> Probably would have been hitting the next level if it was for me hitting him. Mr. Plow? Yeah. Comes to mind as well. Don't need skill this early. We're probably not gonna hit six until we need to be six. Right next to it, really. It's kind of close ish, but it's not worth getting. I can't. It's champion brute, it's not worth. You know something I'm actually really curious about in these runs? I'm curious if getting a really good tower setup would be better than doing jail. Because you have the kill speed, but you'd need XP shrines, I think. The monastery mm. on Daria's It obviously stronghold. depends on your packs and all that kind of stuff too. But I'm wondering if a really, really decked out like Black Marsh setup would outdo Vale. Or like tower setup, sorry. Like if you had waypoint next to tower and like a shrine next to it and be able to get XP shrines. I was on the wrong buttons. That was not good. I was using my lower lower level frost over there.
Is there a bee stick over there? Impossible. If there was magic here, it's long gone now. Oh, there's good odds here. Impossible. Good odds. Come on, game, do it. No, don't shut yourself out. Let's go. All right. I can't. If there was magic here, it's long gone now. Okay. Impossible. Impossible. I can't carry him. Mm -hmm. I can't. I can't. I can't. I am overburdened. He's using the wrong gear for a moment there. Pretty bad density now, though. <laughs> it's unreal how bad that density turned into. magic here it's long gone now Was a really rough jail too. Really rough jail three so far. Not enough mana. Is that? I need mana. That's my point. Not enough mana.
All right, we gotta start. Let's go. Greetings. This way. Waypoint first. That's, that's really good reveals. Can I take you? No limit on how many runs? What do you mean? You just run over and over. Like you reset your stash as much as you need to. I'm on the wrong thing. We're on an insane pace, by the way. This Act 2 has been mental so far. Oops, that's not what I was meant to do. Put you in there, you in there. Hello. I'll have to get that after. Take you. This place actually distorts reality. Fourth way. Classic. Your presence honors me. This place actually distorts reality. Fascinating. <laughs> I usually go fish for things, but I'm not that concerned. Still can't believe even with that act two, I still lost time. But I think it, the uh, the tempo plus arc came pretty bad. Hello. 
if that was the thing that I thought it would be, but... Afterwards, very safer than having to go back for a second waypoint. Not enough mana. much better than my average act 3 but I'm not sure if it's still perfect or not you know I was going the complete wrong direction. Holy, that was not good. Hmm. I keep losing time, man. It's not good. What do you need? It's not good. I think we have the guaranteed short layout here, though, so that should be hopefully a time save. Oh, it's that other last run. That's sad. It's not good. Where's my belt? Where's my belt? I don't actually think I'm going to beat my world record at this rate, it's so crazy. I didn't realise how good my other splits are.
Impossible. That's actually a good question. I don't know why that's so. Oh, what are these immunities that these guys rolled? That's normal when two of them rolled an immunity. I thought I saw it there. Good world stone for a change. Oh, I'm lucky. Can't have it all. Important wave I have to skip coming up. Nice. Almost a really cool time. I could have purposely trolled and like left that two seconds to make it two, 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 two. <laughs> yeah. Hey guys, I'm going to quickly go over the items used in the New Game Plus Sorcerer speedrun. Uh, for those of you that don't know, New Game Plus is basically a shared stash run where you create a fresh new character, but you're allowed to use items that are in a shared stash already. That, however, the items must be legitimate items that are obtainable within the game. So to begin with, we have this right side of stash that we want to put into our inventory as well as equipping this staff specifically. This staff has level 10 charge bolt charges, which is obviously just going to plow through anything at P8 at the beginning of the game. And we can equip this from level 1 because we are a sorceress. If you're a different class trying to use this item specifically, you would have a level requirement that would not allow you to use it this early into the game. We then have these rings as well as these charms, which have basically strength, mana, the rings have some extra stats which are useful like faster cast rate, lightning res, mana per kill and stuff like that. Uh, these items you basically want to have in your inventory as well as equipping these two rings at least if not the ami as well. Because what will happen is that will get you up to 30 strength as long as at level 2 you put 5 points into strength. We need to get to 30 strength in order to equip Hazaras because that gives us faster run walk as well as fire res. And then what happens at level 3 is we also equip this stuff which is just a slight upgrade from the previous one we used giving it FCR as well. And then later on into this run, we at level 6 we switch over to the eight, level 8 Frost Nova charges. This is really really important because when you get up to Ruck and Issue, generally speaking you want to be either at level 6 or getting very close to level 6, so you can at least kill him very quickly and very easily. We also equip some extra stats on the Breastplate as well as the Mask, and obviously Hussar's belt is just a really really nice starting alternative. So, you know, we have a bunch of life, a bunch of mana, whole bunch of energy so we just have a massive mana pool and we basically just run through the game and obviously you have these extra stamina potions to make sure that you can get to jail as quickly as possible. Then pretty much throughout that your goal is just to get to jail as fast as possible and then 
Once you get to jail, you can run Frost Nova for quite some time, and then around level 14 you can respec, and then at which point, this is these are the other items that you will then equip. So what happens is we have Cow King's Hooves to just get that little bit of extra faster run walk to get to the jail waypoint. We then have the Shield here, which is obviously just really, really nice res, balances things out, gives us a lot more mana. You have Blood Fist, which is just a really, really nice alternative for a lot of life and hit recovery. Maelstrom is the one that actually gets us to the 105 breakpoint before we can equip this item here, Wall of the Eyeless, which is a level 20 shield. But Maelstrom is going to be the thing that we have on switch. And then the main pieces that we use early on are this orb as well as the staff, obviously. We've been using this orb. This is a level 6 orb, which grants Frost Nova, Static Field, Telekinesis. These are some of the early game abilities that you'll just be using and balancing between obviously between the level 8 Frost Nova. Once your character level ends up getting to around level 10, I think that's when you equal the amount of Frost Nova level here. So you can usually just drop this staff if you want to, unless you don't care about the mana cost. But yeah, we have a token here for later on when we do the Nova respec around level 14. And then you have the Sacred Globe here, which it then switches you over to Nova. It includes Frost Nova as well on it. Uh, Static Field is obviously just something that's really useful early game. Uh, we come with a TP book, and uh, we also have this really, really nice circuit coming in as well with the lining skills at level 16, grants faster on walk, hit recovery, lots of life, and all res, it's just a beauty. Obviously we have stealth, that's one of the main pieces for this this run as well, we need that faster cast rate, and the and the, the faster on walk is just really nice here as well. Uh, we also have this gear, so what happens is once you reach jail, generally you equip all of this, and then you put all of this into your inventory as well as all of this stuff here. So we have the faster cast rate rings with res upgrades. There's a 20 FCR AMI here, which is amazing. Um, then we also have the, we have the same thing basically uh, on these rings, it's just more res. And then there's basically a lot of life, res, mana, hit recovery. Frost Nova when struck is also pretty useful as well, can just sometimes save you in random situations. And then you have this uh, new upgrade of a Sacred Globe, which just has level 3 to teleport. The reason for that is to actually reduce the mana cost of teleport, so it's not too bad teleporting all the way around. This could be changed for something else maybe in the future, but to be honest, I think this orb is just amazing, obviously. And then we have this amazing circular upgrade, which actually, I think the difference between this one is, yeah, it adds faster cast rate onto this one as well. And I think it's just a bigger mana pool. Yeah. So you have... Uh, obviously there's also jewels in these as well which grant a lot of these extra stats and then eventually you have the wall of the honest which you switch over to at level 20. Um, we have an extra token here just in case you mess up the respec and then you have a merc gear setup which is basically just massive amounts of damage so he can basically one pop everything once he gets up to uh, act 4. You basically just want to go around seal popping and just insta giving the bosses with the help of him. Um, so you want to just pop vizier, pop the Sace, pop Infector, and then pretty much move on, and obviously he'll help tank Diablo for a little while as well, which is nice. You also need him for the Ancients fight as well, because um, Mordok can be a little bit of a problem for a Lightning Sork. And then we have just a bunch of mana potions, as well as some you know, health and rejuves. And if need be, you can also withdraw gold later on in case you don't have enough to either res, uh, if you don't have enough to, I think, buy or revive your Mercenary. Generally, you should have enough to revive your mercenary just from gold dropping on the floor in jail, but sometimes it can be grim, I guess. But yeah, that is the overview of the New Game Plus Sork speedrun and the gear. Thanks for watching, guys.